Hey guys, so I am going to do my October favorites today. It is so late, let me just say. I haven't really been filming again and I don't know why. I'm really sorry. It's really late and yeah, just been going through some things in my life um, that I don't necessarily need to talk about, but if all my Tumblr and whatnot, you've probably already seen. But anyway, I still wanted to do the favorites because I have a lot of good products to show you and I didn't want to just ignore it and, you know, move on to November favorites when it came around to December, which, oh my god, time is flying so fast and I never say that in favorites videos because I find it annoying, but time is really flying by really fast, so <laughs> getting started. First thing I'm going to mention is what I'm wearing. It's a fashion favorite. I actually just got this this weekend. Best purchase ever. It's from Juicy again. Juicy Couture, and I never shop there, but it's like they're having these sales that are ridiculous. Awesome. It's so cool. So this is what the sweater looks like. It's really, really long. I don't know if you can see. And it has these awesome pockets here. Another cool feature, it has this side zipper. You can zip up and have it be like little open right there. I think that's really cool. It is so warm and cozy. I can't even tell you. It has no closure. Um, and not really a lapel or anything either. It's just kind of like open. And it's so warm. It came in black too and I debated but I got the taupe color because I like taupe and taupe likes me and yeah. And I put it on and the sales girl was like, oh my god that looks so cute. And I'm like, you're trying to get some commission right now. But that's okay. But thank Okay, guess how much I got this for? I don't even know how much it was originally. Um, but it was on sale for 104 which is so expensive. And then it was 30% off of that, just like the other sweater, because they still had their 30% off sale going on. And so came down to like 75. And then the time I got the sweater with the jewels all over it and the studs, I got a um, card that is a mystery money card. It could be $25, $50, $250, $50, or $500 worth on the card. And automatically you at least get 25. So my friend and I went back to see how much was on our cars because we didn't really have money to shop but we were like what if it's 500 and we just miss out because it went until the 12th um which is today yes it's today the 12th anyway so then i had 25 dollars on the card everybody pretty much got 25 she was like i've really only seen another one of 50 that's the highest so obviously there's very few 500s out there but mine is 25 so i got it for 50 dollars $50 is probably more than $200 normally for $50. Same price as the other sweater, but awesome cardigan. I know that's still kind of expensive for some, but for Juicy Couture, and it's such good quality, and it's so comfy and warm, and I have been wearing it literally every day since I got it. I can't take it off. It's so amazing. I love it. So that's my first favorite. Now, moving on to beauty favorites, and we'll jump back around to more fashion favorites at the end. Um, but yeah, so... Beauty favorites. I have a whole little glossy box lid tray. The perfume I've been wearing so much lately. I went out of it. Like, I didn't really get that into it. I got it two years ago for Christmas from Tyler. And um, then I stopped wearing it so much. And then now I just keep spraying it all day long. It's like, it's so strong and so sweet. But I can't get enough of it. I'm just like, keep spraying it on myself. It's the Givenchy Play for Her. And I just got another Givenchy perfume that I'm going to post in a Sephora haul soon once I get the package in for the friends and family sale. So I did shop that and there will be a haul. But I love this perfume so much. If you can smell it. Oh my god. It smells so good. It's so sweet and girly. I think that's why I've been wearing it because it's so feminine. And I just like to feel really pretty and feminine. Skincare. I have some skincare products. Three. The Corez Wild Rose Face Nice Serum. This is no stranger to my channel. If you've been watching me for a while, you know how obsessed I used to be with this. Well, that obsession has come back. And mainly because the Ole Hendrickson Truth Serum I thought was breaking me out. And I was like, oh my god, the product that I love is breaking me out. And so I stopped using it, breakouts went away. I don't know if it was really that, if it was my period, if it was another product. I don't know, but when I stopped using it, it stopped breaking me out. Or I stopped breaking out. Switch back to Cora's because um, I love serums. I have to use a serum. And I realized this one's better than the Ole Hendrickson one. I keep going back and forth with you guys. And I'm sorry if some of you went out and bought the Ole Hendrickson one because I said it was better. I really think this one's better. And two reasons. One, it's more hydrating. If you have oily skin, the Ole Hendrickson one probably is better. 
If you have dry skin, this one's way better. The other one is not as drying or not as moisturizing and so it kind of feels dry. Dry. It doesn't feel dry, it just absorbs so quickly into my dry skin that I can't like move it around anymore. This one I just like to give my face a little massage with, it feels so nice. Second reason why it's better is you can use this on your eyes and I am so lazy. I don't own an eye cream. I used to use eye creams. Actually, I do have an eye gel from Glossy Box, but I don't use it. I use this because it's line smoothing and brightening and I need both those aspects around my eyes too. So it's just so nice to just put it all over your face, including your eyelids, under your eyes. It's so quick and easy and it's just an amazing product. I actually got another one. This one's almost gone for the Sephora haul, so expect that. That was way too long of talking for that product. Moving on. The Pure Lease uh, Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover. I am still debating buying this full size because I had no idea it was $36 full size and it's like so much money to spend on a cleanser of all things that I don't think is that important. But it's really, really good and every time I use it I fall so in love with it. I didn't think a cleanser could be like this. I didn't know that's what it was supposed to be um, and I love it so, so much. So let me know if you think I should splurge on myself and get a full size or if I should save for Christmas shopping because I don't know what to do. Anyway, it's amazing. I highly recommend if you have some extra money to spend and you want to try a really awesome cleanser. If you have dry skin, that's an awesome cleanser and I keep saying awesome. I need to get a larger vocabulary for good words, but um, yeah, if you have dry skin, you need to try that. It's really good. Last skincare item is a Shiseido uh, sunscreen. Urban Environment Oil for UV Protector for Face, Water Resistant Sunscreen, SPF 42. And this is a little um, freebie that Sephora had, one of their promos going on. If you just entered in the code, you got this for free. It wasn't any points or anything, it's just sometimes you have to check your emails or check the promos going on when you place an order because you can get, you know, something like this. And it's really awesome. So I've always wanted to try a high-end sunscreen just out of curiosity because I've been using the Neutrogena Dry Touch Sunblock for years and um, I'm kind of bored with it, but it's just a sunscreen so I don't want to splurge and get a super expensive one or anything. Um, so I just thought I'd, you know, touch on the high-end version of sunscreen. It's amazing. It's really good. Um, I definitely recommend this if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, do not get this because it is really hydrating. It almost feels like a moisturizer, but it's so thin and runny. It's odd, but it works really nice and I really like it. But then I went on Sephora's website to see how much it is. It's like $30, $40, $50, I don't even remember. Higher, you know, the Neutrogena one's $13 and, you know, $10 to $13. And that just seems ridiculous to spend $30 or $40 on a sunscreen when my other one is fine, but I just really wanted to test it out and I wanted to include it in my favorites in case some of you are interested in a high-end sunscreen and wanted to hear what I would recommend. I haven't tested any other high-end sunscreen, just this one, but it's just sunscreen, so it's like I can't just buy it full size. Maybe if I win the lottery, I'll buy it full size to treat myself with the Pure Lease cleanser. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, the Benefit Professional Pro Balm. I love this stuff and sometimes when I use my other primers, it feels like they don't do anything for my skin. Even though I know that they're working, this I actually feel working. I feel it creating a barrier. It feels so like silky. I can see my pores getting a shield over them so my makeup doesn't sit in it. So that's why I like it more because it feels like it's working. I am almost out and I'm still debating whether or not to buy it again because I actually got it in a, um, a set, I think, I don't remember, like a 500 point set for Sephora. I got this in Coralista Blush. Um, I've had this for a while and it's really nasty dirty, but I love this stuff so much. So I'm wondering if I should repurchase it because I like it, if I should use up the primers that I have already because I have so many primers already and they're just going to go bad if I don't use them. So I kind of feel bad if I just went and bought this one again. I don't know what to do, but it's an, I love this primer so much. So if you need a new primer in your life, this one's really good. Um, it is definitely worth the hype. I have a mascara. This one was, I didn't even plan on buying a mascara at all. I just kind of like saw it in Walmart, it said $5. 
Okay, so I got it. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is the closest thing that I've come across to Lancome Mascara. And Lancome makes my favorite mascaras ever. Um, I always thought that I liked Benefit Bad Gal, you know, Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. But then I tried Lancome Mascara and it tops everything. And I went, when the fan, Friends and Family sale was going on, I went to Sephora and I'm like, I'm going to buy Hypnostar from Lancome. And I saw the price. It was like $36. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I got a sample of it from Sephora and I couldn't spend $36 on a mascara after just having said to you guys that it's ridiculous to spend that much on mascara. I feel like a hypocrite. But this one is really comparable. Now, this comes out, I can see this being not everybody's cup of tea. It comes out super clumpy, messy, all over the wand, all up in there. It's messy. So if you're not one of those that likes really wet, clumpy, thick lashes, don't buy this because you pro I mean, that sounds horrible as a description, but it's really volumizing. And I am not, I really love the, um, what's it called? The Revlon, what is it that I, the Maybelline one, full and soft, thank you. Full and soft, I love that one, but this one's better and the reason why I don't have to sit there for hours getting the results that I want. This goes on so fast, however it's super messy. I always get it on the lower part of my eyelid when I'm doing my lower lashes, always. Luckily I wear liquid liner on the top so it doesn't always get on my lid. If I don't put liquid liner in there, it's bound to get on my eyelid. It's just how my eyes are shaped and how they work. Um, but definitely try this if you haven't and you like the full thick um, coat coated lashes. I love it personally. I love the thick lashes. I'm wearing it today, but I'm also wearing falsies today, which is another one of my favorites I will show you. But I love this stuff, so definitely try it. Um, I'll just talk about lashes since we're on lashes. These are the best eyelashes I've ever, ever tried. I'm wearing them right now, but I also have another pair. They get some close closeness. They are the perfect lashes for my eye shape and size. And they're really flared at the tip, which is what I love. I love that they like wing out because um, then I don't have to do that with my liner to give that same like cat eye effect. And they're just so pretty and feminine. I love them so much. So let me tell you what they are. Shall, shall I? Sh I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, they are the Ardell 305 Accent Lashes. And they're thick at the base, but they're still... I, I can't explain it. They're perfect. And especially if you have small eyes, because I always, always, always have to trim my lashes, cut off some of the inner, sometimes some of the outer, just to make it fit on my eye shape because they're so small. These I don't have to cut at all. It goes about halfway um, to my through my lashes, and they're so amazing. They give the thickness that I love. I always get asked, are those your real lashes? <laughs> and I'm always like, no, I wish, but thank you. Um, People always ask me that. Not that they think that they're my real lashes, but they ask me, are those real? Because they don't, you know, obviously they look fake, but I have been wearing these every day. I don't wear lashes every day normally. Past two or three weeks, four weeks, I don't know. I've been wearing these every day. So I've been stocking up and they only had two left at CVS, but I love those so, so much. And they're so easy to apply every day, just with tweezers, bam, pinch them in on the sides there. Blend it in with some mascara and you're done. I love them. They're so quick and easy. Highly recommend them. Sorry I'm talking so much about each product, but I have just so much excitement for each product this month. Good favorites video to stick around for. Um, this is a, I've had this for a while. It's Cora's uh, Lip Butter in Jasmine. And this I actually rediscovered because the Strawberry Rosebud that I normally have sitting on my desk area at night when I'm going to sleep. I put on my hand cream, put on my lip balm. I always reach for the strawberry one. But I was going to the movies one night, I couldn't find a lip balm, and I grabbed the strawberry one. I left it in my purse, and it's been in my purse since. I only have been using this. Um, and this was sitting next to it, and so I, I'm like, you know, I need something because I'm going to sleep. After I brush my teeth, my lips get kind of dry, and so I need something before I sleep. I've been waking up in the morning, and this makes my lips feel so good. It doesn't feel all that awesome going on. Um, I can't really explain it. It doesn't feel like it's sinking into my lips like the lip balm, the strawberry one is, because that's, you know, petroleum-based, so it really 
feels like it's sinking into my lips. I still like that one better, but this one's really good too. But this one feels like it's sitting on top of your lips, but then when you wake up, you still feel it on there and they feel really hydrated. So it's really nice. Um, I love Cora's as a brand. It's my favorite, one of my favorite skincare brands, um, but their lip butters are pretty nice too. So I'd recommend checking that out um, if you're into it, but I really recommend the Strawberry Lip Balm more. But that one's pretty good. Recently rediscovered, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a drugstore product. This is the 24-Hour Infallible by L'Oreal. Um, wow, there's a hair in my eye. 24-Hour <laughs> um, Infallible Eyeshadow. This is in Bottomless Java. I've been wearing this a lot this month. I've just been wearing it as an all-over color. Um... And underneath I don't like to really do crease color all the time I like a color that I can just put on all over that's dark enough because I do not do light shades on my eyes they always have to be dark or satin taupes about as light as I'll go maybe um, but this one's really dark and I love it so let me go ahead and give you a little swatch it's so awesome it looks really good on my blue eyes too and um, these eyeshadows are just amazing quality and everything. I'm thinking about doing a blog post on it, even though they are, my blog is mainly fashion based, but I think they're just so amazing and people need to know about them because they're awesome. Um, a MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. I like that this has SPF in it. It's a really full coverage concealer and I used to think this was too dark for me and I don't know why now it matches. I'm confused. <laughs> it used to be dark. Now I just re recently started using it again and it works fine. I don't know what happened. I'm not tanner. I didn't, if anything, I'm paler. I don't know, but it's a really good one. Um, it is thick, so I don't recommend it under the eyes, but it's awesome for, um, you know, red patches, acne, stuff like that on the skin. So love that. And the last beauty product I'm going to talk about, and then we'll move on to some fashion-y stuff. Um... Rimmel Stay Matte. This was recommended to me by so many people. I was finally, I think at Target, and I saw they had a transparent one because all the other ones that I've looked at in CVS and Kmart are so dark, and I'm like, I'm not that tan. I don't know why it goes from 01 to like 4, 04. I don't know why. I think the lightest one was 03, but that's still too dark for me, so... Uh, 01 is transparent. It's such a good powder, you guys. This is amazing thank you so much to everybody who recommended it to me i love it so i wouldn't say it's a dupe of the um, mineralized skin finish from mac but it's really close they have a similar consistency it looks really really natural on the skin and i love it it is more matte than the skin finish one is that one's a little bit more natural looking this one does have a matte look but it's not super powdery and i think it's awesome so thank you for everybody who recommended this to me because i love it now so glad I found a cheaper powder option than the MAC MSF because that was so expensive. Okay, two fashion favorites other than the sweater that I have on. I, oh, three fashion favorites, just kidding. I know this video is already super long. Anyway, moving on. Creepers, I love these so, so much. I'm going to do this whole styling video on them, probably not today or this week, next weekend, I'll probably film my styling video for them because I've been getting requested to do it. Um, I love them. Everybody calls them my Frankenstein shoes, ugly, whatever. <laughs> they don't like them. I love them. I don't think they're that ugly at all. I mean, I love creepers anyway, but people, like where I live, people don't really understand a lot of fashion trends. Not to say my friend who says they're Frankenstein shoes doesn't understand fashion. Um, but these are super popular right now, so you should know that. Anyway, um, some, you know, these aren't everybody's cup of tea, but I really like them, and I will be doing a styling video on them. If those of you who do like them as well, but don't know how to work them into your wardrobe, I will help you. Anyway, next one is my Romwe Velvet Leggings. These are so awesome. I could wear these every day. They're actually really comfortable. When I first put them on, they were super tight. Now that I've worn them a few times and haven't washed them, they are stretching out a little bit, but they're beautiful. I love this color for fall and winter. I'm just going to be wearing these so, so much, but I've worn them all the time this month. I love them. They're amazing. I've repeated outfits with them too, and I'm not ashamed to say that. Okay, last favorite is my studded bag from Glint and Gleam. 
from shoplately.com. I love this bag. It's so cool. I love the size of it. It's perfect for going to work because I do walk, so I don't like to have a giant bag because I will fill it. I will put stuff in it and it just gathers everything in my life. <laughs> but um, this one keeps it limited and yeah, I really, really like it. It's beautiful. It's feminine with the rhinestones, but it's, you know, edgy with the studs on it. So that's an awesome bag. And I'll have links to that stuff <clears throat> down below. So that's it for my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a favorites video, you can post it as a video response down below. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments this month, what kind of products you've been loving. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.